if your Toyota Prius is not starting, there's a good chance the uh, inverter is bad and you should check it. Welcome back to Top 5 Repairs. How do you know you have a bad Toyota Prius inverter? And it's time to replace it. The purpose of the Toyota Prius inverter is to convert 200 volts to 500 volts in order for your hybrid system to work properly. The first sign that you know that your inverter is failing is when the red triangle light shows up on your dashboard and you start to notice performance issues. For example, you may notice your Toyota Prius may stall occasionally while driving. And if the inverter fails completely, your Toyota Prius may not start at all. If you notice your Prius is stalling occasionally, there's a good chance the inverter may be overheating caused by a failed inverter pump. There is a coolant reservoir mounted on the side of the inverter and make sure you check the coolant level. If the coolant level is low, make sure to top it off. And if you top it off with coolant, make sure to only use Toyota super long lasting coolant. Before you replace the inverter pump, make sure there is turbulence inside the reservoir. So what you want to do is you want to remove the reservoir cap and look for coolant flowing inside the reservoir. If you don't see coolant flowing, there's a good chance the inverter pump is failing. If your Toyota Prius is always stalling caused by the inverter constantly overheating, there's a good chance that you have a leak somewhere. I will check for leaks right at the connection, check for leaks right at the rubber hose, and also make sure the passage are not clogged. All of these can contribute to your inverter overheating and causing it to fail prematurely. The next time that you know that your inverter is failing is when you start to get Toyota Prius code. For example, if you get P0A08, P0A09, or any other codes referring to a bad inverter, then you know your inverter may be failing. Before you replace your inverter, I always check for corroded connection. If the connection are corroded, there's a good chance this can interfere with the inverter operation and you may have electrical issues. Next, you want to conduct a sniff test. Sniff the electrical component. If the electrical component smells burnt, there's a good chance the inverter is fried. If you plan to work on the hybrid system, always disconnect the orange service plug right at the hybrid battery. This will ensure you will not get shock. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Battery Repairs.